Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Tass. In this video, I'm gonna share a delicious apple cake recipe with you guys, and I'll be cooking this cake in the Instant Pot. I have an Instant Pot Ultra model, and it has a cake setting, so I'll be using that, and I'll be cooking this cake for an hour. Now, if you don't have a cake setting on your Instant Pot, you can uh, pressure cook the cake and set the time manually to an hour at a high pressure. This is a delicious and moist cake. So first I'll be chopping the apples into bite-sized pieces and then I'll make the dry ingredients and wet ingredients. So we don't need a stand mixer or an electric hand mixer to make the cake batter. So we just need a spatula and then we'll combine everything together and I'll be also adding chopped almonds. So that will give a nice crunch when we enjoy this cake. Um, so another key ingredient is ground cinnamon. So please don't skip that. Uh, that will make this cake very aromatic. So let's get started and let's make apple cake in the instant pot. I'll be using three red delicious apples. So I'm going to peel off the skin and chop them into bite-sized pieces. Here are the apples chopped into bite-sized pieces. Next I'm going to add 1 tablespoon freshly squeezed lemon juice and mix it well. So lemon juice will prevent the apples from turning brown. So keep this aside. So next let's mix all the dry ingredients. Into a bowl, going to add one and a half cups all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon ground cinnamon. So this is freshly ground cinnamon, so it has an intense aroma. If your ground cinnamon doesn't have intense aroma, you can add one teaspoon but please don't skip adding ground cinnamon it will add lots of flavor aroma to this cake next let's add quarter teaspoon salt three quarter cup granulated white sugar so these are the dry ingredients using a silicon spatula give everything a good mix and keep this aside Next, let's make the wet ingredients into a bowl. I'm going to crack one large egg at room temperature. Using a whisk, beat the egg well. So we don't need an electric hand mixer or stand mixer for making the cake batter. A whisk and a spatula will do all the work. Next, I'm going to add six tablespoon melted butter. So I have melted the butter in the microwave. Uh, so we should not be adding softened butter. The butter has to be melted. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Half cup milk. It can be 2% milk or whole milk. So give everything a good mix. Next, let's add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Using a silicon spatula combined till well incorporated without any lumps. To the batter, now let's add the chopped apples. Next, I'm also going to add half cup chopped almonds. You can also add walnuts or pecans uh, instead of almonds. Give everything a good mix. So this has a rather thick consistency. It does not have a thin consistency as you can see. So that's how it should be. So do not add more uh, milk to make it thin. So this is the perfect consistency for making this apple cake. I'm using a 6.5 inches diameter and 3 inches deep spring form pan. So this will fit perfectly into my uh, stainless steel pot. If you have a round cake pan, you can also use that. So I'm greasing the pan with melted butter. So grease the bottom and the sides of the pan well. 
Line with the parchment paper. Also, let's grease the parchment paper with melted butter so the cake won't stick to the pan. Let's add the apple cake batter into the pan so we cannot really pour the batter. It doesn't have a thin consistency. Use a spatula and transfer the batter into the pan. Even out the top and using the spatula, let's make the top smooth. Before placing the cake pan into the stainless steel pot, we need to cover it with a kitchen paper towel. And after that, I'm going to cover this tightly with an aluminum foil. If you don't have an aluminum foil, you can uh, add a few more layers of kitchen paper towel. So this is to ensure moisture will not get into the uh, cake. Otherwise, liquid or moisture will get into the cake and it will turn really soggy and it will spoil the texture of the cake. To the stainless steel pot, I'm adding one cup water. So this is a very important step. Do not forget adding water. If you don't add water and cook the cake, instant pot will give out a burn error. So I'm placing the trivet that came with the instant pot over the water. So next let's place the cake pan that's um, covered with the kitchen paper towel and aluminum foil. Close the pot with the lid. I'm using an Instant Pot Ultra model and it has a cake setting. So select the cake setting and I'm going to set the time to one hour and the pressure should be at high. So if you don't have a cake setting, select the pressure cook setting, set the time manually to one hour and pressure should be at high. So let's click start for Instant Pot Ultra model. It's been an hour and cooking has completed. I'm going to do a quick pressure release. You can also do a natural pressure release for five minutes and then do a quick pressure release. So the pressure has completely released. Let's open the lid. So wear a mitten, it's very hot and I'm going to uh, take the trivet out of the stainless steel pot. I am excited to see how this cake has turned out. So let's remove the aluminum foil and paper towel. As you can see, there is some liquid over the foil. If you didn't cover the cake pan, all this water would have got into the cake. So this looks good. Since I've used a spring form pan, I can remove the sides. All right, so it came out really well. The cake didn't stick to the sides of the pan that's because i've greased it well with the melted butter here is our apple cake that's cooked in the instant pot it has turned very moist so let it cool down for a few minutes that's when it will set well so i'm going to cut into wedges but if we cool it down it will set well and also it's easier to slice the cake Here is the sliced apple cake. So the apples have cooked perfectly. It's not uh, overcooked or it didn't turn mushy. I was a bit worried about that, but now it's perfectly cooked. And right now I'm also getting the beautiful fragrance from ground cinnamon. It's so mesmerizing. So this is a perfect cake to enjoy with a cup of coffee or tea. Here is the apple cake that's cooked in the Instant Pot. So I've used Instant Pot Ultra model and it has a cake uh, setting. So I cooked this for an hour um, and it has turned out great. It's really moist. Uh, so if you don't have a cake setting on your Instant Pot, uh, you can cook this uh, in the pressure cook setting. Uh, set the time to an hour at high pressure. This cake will taste delicious when served warm. You can also top this with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and it will taste even more delicious. If we compare the texture of this cake that's cooked in the instant pot with the cake that's baked in the oven, I would say the cake that's baked in the oven, the top and the sides of the cake will have a nice uh, crust. So in the instant pot, it wouldn't have that nice crust but it will be really moist and taste wise um, even I like the uh, cake that's um, cooked in the instant pot uh, so I'm gonna enjoy this cake so it's uh, warm right now mm. it's very moist 
and um, the apples have cooked well it has not turned mushy and also i'm getting the bite of those um, almonds that i've added so i love that crunchy bite from the almonds and also um, i can also feel the aroma and taste of ground cinnamon that we have added tastes really good and this will make a perfect breakfast or brunch during weekends so along with tea this will be absolutely delicious so let me have uh, one more bite very good please make sure you serve this warm and any leftovers can be kept in the refrigerator and the next day you can warm it up slightly in the microwave and enjoy do make this apple cake in your instant pot and let me know your feedback so if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be back with more instant pot cooking videos until then happy cooking take care and bye